let me tell you something you might not know about Princess Diana, the most beloved English royalty in recent history. The legal system disregarded her wishes to leave a quarter of her personal possessions to her 17 godchildren. Princess Diana was the most famous lady in the whole world. She had it all. Beauty, brains, charm, married into the English royal family. She had two beautiful children and a long, long life ahead of her. When she died in a horrendous car crash in France, she was only 37 years old. Diana wrote a letter detailing her wishes. Sadly, the executor of her estate failed to follow her instructions detailed in that letter. Diana did her best to be charitable toward her godchildren. The great calamity occurred when the executor only gave each godchild a small trinket. A family fight and lawsuit resulted. After an expensive and heart-wrenching court procedure, the court ruled the executor had acted in a technically legal manner. Even though the court may have had that technical power to disregard Diana's wishes, it did not have the moral right. The real calamity is that those godchildren should have been given their money. We will always remember Diana as the paragon of charity in the world. We will always remember her holding the dying child with AIDS in Africa. We should expect a higher level of charitable awareness from the dispassionate and emotionless legal system. In other words, do what's right. As a society, we must rise to Diana's level of concern, a higher level of concern for what is morally right.